what is up YouTube it's your boss CB here and today we'll be checking out on the new hero Bastrix so hopefully most of you guys might have got Bastrix so if you haven't already be sure to get this hero he's a must needed hero now Bastrix is very versatile so you can use in almost any of these races so before we get on to this video I want you guys to go out and check my buddy out death he's a really great guy and he got a lot of void videos so you guys you guys might need his formations because he's a really beast in the void so you guys go check him out and now let's come back to the video guys now I have already unlocked Basric get him out to level 50 and now let us go check out his stats guys so let's go and check out his stats now this guy is way out in the back right here guys now check him out so I haven't got a lot of this flawless item for Bastrix but one thing I got is the soul in it is gonna give nearby enemy weight chance minus 15% because this guy is a melee hero so you guys want to have a you know a debuff for nearby enemies and I got a flawless bow right here that is gonna be doing pretty great job and also boosting a lot of his stats is man I got this flawless sacred grail right here man look at those stats guys now this is insane so you guys need to collect as much of the sacred grail grails as possible cause that's gonna increase a lot of your stats guys and we got the sunbow artifact is two stars but I'm trying to get it to at least four stars guys damage to large and massive units plus 30% that's gonna give a lot of damage to Basric already so now let's go and check on his abilities guys so here he has a lot of bats by his side so that's an ancestral affliction and these bats do damage guys so whenever an enemy comes near him these bats are gonna do damage this guy is gonna do melee attack with the sword so first thing I recommend is you need to focus on three things if you want to get your bass rig to the next level guys so you want flurry you want the night prowler and you want the bat blitz everything else is just as much as you wish try to get the most points on flurry and the night prowler guys so the night prowler you guys can get an artifact no actually it is a divine item from the scroll from the void shop and try to get it so you can get the night prowler to the maximum level like 10 by 9 all right and the bad place i want my basric to do a lot of damage that's why i have five points on the bad blitz so let's go and check out each and every abilities guys so coming to the first ability basic attack into flurry of three lighter jabs and also the third of which is always a critical hit and he also gets a critical hit damage increase and also his evade chance is going to increase by 72 percent so that is going to be a really great thing every single time basric attacks he's going to do three attacks plus he's got a lot of evade chance also his critical hit damage is going to get increased and also guys this is another one good really good ability guys is making your best trick free of blood shackles as soon as you can like seven seconds each seven seconds and also it's gonna give your bats a lot more damage and also coming to the next one guys take wing it's like a just a second life for Basric. if you don't want to get your Basric snipe right at the start of the battle you might need to have at least one point on this one so at least you can save him from one critical hit guys so midnight murder is a really good ability in pvp it's gonna do a lot more damage to enemy heroes and up to three enemy heroes guys is that could be anywhere in the map so that's gonna snipe out a couple of maybe mages and all those high damaging heroes guys and vampire bats most of the people would like to have those special scroll which is available from the void that divine item that's gonna increase the vampire bats it's gonna do a lot more damage by the bad so I might prefer the midnight night prowler here more than the vampire bats guys so bad blitz is another great thing guys summons a cloud of bats for six seconds and attack enemies in target area it's gonna do every second 10% of their current health so that's gonna do a lot more damage guys and especially you can cast these abilities twice after all the blood shackles have spread and also it's gonna increase 50 percent of this movement speed of the basric that's gonna be re really great thing reducing the movement speed guys so that's also a really good ability that's why i want to have this one on five 
as possible so in pvp guys like easily you can take out enemy heroes you can clear out the back line, back line troops so this is a really good thing so let's go ahead and check basric in the gameplay right now guys so let's go ahead and attack a dungeon right here let's check out how basric looks and how basric fights guys so while deploying basric you can actually see all those blood shackles you guys can see the five blood shackles and if there is no enemy heroes the basric is gonna shed all those five shackles right at the start of the battle so in our case we are doing a dungeon so pretty much no heroes so that's why we're gonna get the bat blitz right at the start of the battle so i want you guys to focus on the surrounding area of the basric the aura is gonna do a lot more of this damage to the nearby troops just by his bats itself guys and look at those dabs guys three dabs pretty easy kill guys pretty easy kill and he's very fast guys he look at the fast man he's running on the battlefield guys so now let's hit that retry and check out the bat blitz guys let's see how much damage this thing does it's gonna do a lot more damage like 10 percent damage per second guys that's gonna do a lot more damage so let's go ahead and hit retry and try to finish this off guys so the basterix is gonna shed all those shackles we can use the bat blitz here right now so we're gonna do use it right here and look at the area guys it's got a wide area you can easily reach the enemy backline guys so look at those damage guys look at those damage man so we can do this one immediately we'll do this one on here let's see let's see how this guys does look at that guys easily easily taken down guys so now let's go and check out basrix stats guys look at that easy damage and let's see how much damage you've taken so that's a really good thing guys so that's really cool man i love basrix a lot so most of you guys might also love basrix so tell me in the comments below what do you think of basrix now is he a good hero and also tell me guys if is basrix or Jax the most powerful so i would say basrix so we'll be making a video just to see who is the strongest of the all so be sure to stay tuned for that video and also be sure to hit that subscribe button and i'll see you guys in the next video until then peace out guys and have a nice day